Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, I um, got some quite interesting news about um, first guitars. Um, so as you all know, I've been promoting first guitars for years and years and years. And um, it, the, the history of that is, is on another video. Um, over the last 18 months, they've been going through some, I'd call it a little bit of a tricky patch with their marketing. Um, it, uh, it's left me a little bit confused and um, the, the, the sort of change around from their old model codes, they decided to have a complete haul out, you know, a total change of sort of direction in terms of how they market their guitars um, with these colours that they're bringing out. And even now, this last month, has been a further change and development to how they're marketing those guitars. So it's all a little bit um, up in the air. And it kind of leaves you a bit confused and a bit, why are you doing this? And sometimes you can feel a little bit detached uh, from developments. And it can get, get quite frustrating if you do love the product as much as I do. Um, so the good news is I've been invited to visit uh, the first factory. So uh, it's part of a UK um, trip uh, with uh, the guys at the UK distributor. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to visit Fersh, the world of Fersh guitars. Um, so I'll be there for a couple of days and uh, I thought it'd be a nice opportunity to, for me to hopefully get a chance to have a chat and, with them. I mean, who knows, I may not have any kind of chat with anyone <laughs> directly, I don't know. When I, um, it depends on, uh, they, might, they might want to avoid me. Um, but I look at it as really positive, it's really, really, really quite exciting. I do suffer, as some of you will know, from um, levels of anxiety. So I'll, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking forward at all leaving my family, and uh, I might bail out at the last minute. Who knows? But uh, it's it'll be the, certainly the first time I've been um, away from my family on a plane, travelling away. So um, we'll see. I'll be all right. I'll be a big boy. I cope. Uh, so. Um, uh, so that's that. So that is happening at the, oh, I think it's toward the end of June. Okay, so that's in about four weeks time. So if you've got anything at all you'd like to know about Fersh Guitars, anything at all, stick it in the comments below and I'll uh, use it as a bit of a, uh, a bit of, uh, you know, information for me to find out for you. Because uh, I'm certainly very excited about seeing the, seeing the guitars being made. And of course I'll take my camera with me and take some videos, photos, and hopefully it's going to be a really fascinating insight into the first guitar kind of uh, uh, culture, if you like. Uh, and I thought as I'm talking about first guitars, I would show you another one of my massive favourite guitars. So this one now is a Dreadnought. Um, I haven't done too many Dreadnought uh, videos, I don't think. So I thought well, I'll, I'll, um, this would make an absolutely lovely um, uh, example of a, 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 an absolute benchmark guitar. So dreadnoughts, as a general rule with a dreadnought, you'll get a, a wider spectrum of bass to treble frequencies, uh, fuller, bigger, fuller sound. You can really bash the dreadnought, it, it will take it because you've got the, the, the physical volume inside the guitar. People who are smaller bodied uh, or have it out shoulder problems, they tend to avoid dreadnoughts just purely because of the, the kind of slight uh, you know, uh, shoulder uh, angle. But if you like the bigger body guitar, you don't get a bigger, beautiful sound than a Dreadnought. Uh, now this particular one is Rosewood back and sides, solid Rosewood back and sides. It's called the One Series, the Vintage One. Um, first guitars now do uh, three different numbers, one, two, and three. And this is part of their marketing again. Uh, and it's quite, in fact, this is one area that I think is a slight improvement on how it was before. Because they used to do the 30, 30 uh, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and every one of those would have different cosmetic kind of uh, fluctuations and changes. Now they've boiled that down to one, two, and three. So one is the simplest uh, cosmetic, so minimal bindings. Uh, it's all about the quality of the woods. Uh, uh, not uh, and, and less frills okay so and for a lot of people that's all they want just want a really lovely machine it, it comes out at about 1450 pound on just under 1500 quid and this is the sound you get from it which is absolutely magnificent orchestral tone
thumping bass. But yeah, you've got that lighter texture running through there as well. Beautiful. First guitars are just absolutely extraordinary. And um, if you're after a dreadnought and you want that kind of vintage style, that that's uh, pretty unbeatable. The uh, vintage one series dreadnought. So um, yeah, so that's that. The um, let me know uh, any questions you have about the trip, and um, I'll be very excited to, um, to to ask those questions when I go. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. So that's a, quite a big development just happened about it in the last 24, 48 hours. So uh, I thought I'd let you know. Okay, all right, cheers, bye.